हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी डायरेक्ट मेजरमेंट नाउ डायरेक्ट मेजरमेंट कैन बी डन बाय फोर टाइप्स दैट इज पैसोमीटर पेडोमीटर ओडोमीटर एंड द लास्ट वन इज पेसिंग नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय पैसोमीटर नाउ पैसोमीटर इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट Shaped like a watch, is carried in pocket or attached to one leg. It automatically records the number of paces. Its mechanism is being operated by the motion of the body. It means that the pesometer is shaped like a watch, which can be carried in a pocket or can be attached to one leg. now suppose that we want to measure the distance between these two point that is the linear measurement between these two point now from the starting point suppose that we had carried this pesometer in our pocket now we can walk through this particular straight line and at the end point we will see in the pesometer the number of paces taken by us for traveling the distance between point a to point b now the number of paces can be determined by the pesometer and it can be multiplied by the length of one pace so that we can determine this distance that is distance between ab now to in today's time mi band apple watch both comes with this feature that is measurement of pace between two points okay students now its mechanism is being operated by the motion of the body it means that the distance which we will travel along the two points can be easily determined with the help of pesometer by giving the data of number of pace taken between a and b now we will just multiply this with the length of one pace so that we can determine the linear distance between two points that is pesometer now the next one is pedometer now the device which measure the distance automatically is known as pedometer it is similar to pesometer but difference is that pesometer counts the number of paces whereas pedometer records the distance it means that this device is also same as pesometer it can be carried in our pocket or can be attached to one leg but pesometer counts the number of paces and for the computation of linear distance between two points we need to multiply the number of paces with the one pace length so that we can determine the distance between two point that is a and b but in pedometer it directly measure the distance between two points that is a and b now in this pedometer we can adjust the length of the pace according to the person which will carry that pedometer okay student so it is somewhat more advanced instrument as compared to pesometer because pesometer measure the number of paces whereas pedometer measure the distances directly now the next one is odometer or speedometer which comes in our vehicle now the odometer or speedometer is an instrument for registering the number of revolution of a wheel it means that odometer or speedometer can measure the number of revolution of wheel now the odometer is fitted to a wheel which is rolled along the line whose length is required now odometer is generally fitted in the wheel which is rolled along the straight line to measure the distance between two points like this now the number of revolutions registered by the odometer can then be multiplied by the circumference of that wheel to get the distance between two points it means that odometer will directly multiply the circumference of the wheel 
with the number of revolution of wheel between two points that is a and b so that we can determine the linear distance between two points that is a and b now this type of instrument is known as odometer or speedometer now the next one is direct measurement by pacing now how can we do the pacing in previous time when we play cricket we can measure the length of the pitch by just walking from one point to the last point and we can just travel 20 number of paces and we can just say that this length is 20 yard now that is known as pacing when we roughly measure the distance between two points by simple traveling the distance between two points and we can directly quote the distance between two points by our approximation suppose that from this point we can start our journey and we will move like this okay now we know that our one pace length is almost half meter so we can just say that from this to this half meter from this to this 1 meter, 1.5 meter, 2 meter, 2.5 meter and so on. And when we come to the last point, we can determine the distance between two points that is point A and point B. Now the measurement of distance by pacing is chiefly confined to the preliminary surveys where a surveyor is called upon to make a rough survey as quickly as possible. So it is a rough survey in which the data is approximate data okay that is all about the direct measurement thank you very much students